Hello. Uh, I made just a touch more progress on this prototype, so I figured I'd show it to you and uh, talk about the kind of gameplay I plan uh, to, to have. Just like any other game, a uh, base building game, you can build whatever you'd like. And so here I've just built a, a straight hallway. Uh, even though it's a hex-based game, it's not immediately clear that, th that this hallway is hex-based. So when you're inside, it appears like a normal orthogonal hallway. Now, you can build whatever size and type of room you want, so for example, I can go ahead and build myself a less orthogonal room right here, and that works great, uh, and you know, it, it looks like it's a less orthogonal room. The hexes are quite large, and that's actually a good thing, because it allows us to scan and see which rooms are connected in which ways. So for example, this room, these are four separate rooms, and therefore they can have four separate environments. And it doesn't matter how complicated I make this room, because the hexes are very, very easy to scan. It's not like Minecraft, where every wall contains hundreds of bricks. Um, in this case, I can scan very, very rapidly to determine whether something is uh, a shared area. And that's good, because the idea of the game is that there are a whole bunch of alien species, and you can't initially mix their environments. So you'd set them up with different environments, and you just create places where they can meet up uh, in different environments. Uh, to discuss peace in the universe or whatever. But uh, you don't want to mix them initially, so uh, you can keep them separate like this. Of course, in the long run, you do want to mix them, but that is um, going to require a lot of effort. And that's where the game, uh, the base building game, comes into its own, because you'd be building up like mini bases at the beginning, and then you try and mix them together, and so there's several stages and you have to keep working at it. There's no need for any external threats, because it comes up with its own threats as you build. It just naturally emerges. So here you can see that the lights are a little bit hard to see through, but overall we have a situation where you can easily pass through areas. Uh, one of the doors still has a floor attached to it, which is why you're getting that static, but I'll, I'll delete that at some point here. And notice that I put it together relatively straightforwardly, but it automatically understands that there's two splitting doorways here and gives me a nice nice overhang and does all that work for me. It's just a shame I don't have the rest of the game built yet. Now you can in fact paint as many other floors as you'd like, so for example we could put in another floor here, and we could have a second floor room above those rooms. I don't have anything like stairs yet, but we could do something like stairs. I haven't built anything like a balcony, but you can see how that sort of thing might be possible. In this case, rather than a balcony, what I've done is I have created just some windows, um, and you can look down through the windows if you'd like. Oh, it's hard to control using the scene view. Look, you can see. Well, whatever. Um, the scene view camera is obviously not the final player camera. That just happens to be the easiest thing to use at the moment. Uh, as before, you can build large rooms, but now they are two floors. And that means that if we page up, we can actually go and start to build ourselves a hall above our first hall. Mm, got a little bit excited there. And of course we can put in a door right here. And now we have a two-story building, and uh, it's very easy for us to um, build a base this way. Right now there is no vanishing. I need to work on that so that if you're not on the same floor it's grayed out, but I haven't haven't gotten that far yet. I just wanted to show you the basic idea and to uh, explain what's going to happen. The idea being that each little facility, each miniature facility, can butt up against the other facilities, but you don't mix them initially, and then you have to work at creating a space where they can all be mixed. Should be uh, fun if I can program it. It might take some effort. 